balling on a budget. Check out those pond lilies. What a beast. He's a little choker. Boom, there we go, guys. Aloha, my ohana. It is everybody's favorite Hawaiian fish keeper, Bradamel. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome you. Super excited for this video. Before we jump into this video, let me give you guys an update on Tiki Falls. Let's go. All right, so this is Tiki Falls. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, this is a pond that I made outside in the backyard. Now, it actually has two sides to it. You got this side here, and then we have a little canal that the fish swim through, and then you have this side here. By the way, check out those pond lilies. You remember these guys? I just had to show you guys and give you guys an update on these lilies. Look at all the lily pads. They are super happy in here. And that bad boy right there is Daredevil, my blind Shabukin goldfish. You can see he was born with no eyes, zero eyes. I can sit here and watch this guy navigate through this pond all day. It's fascinating how like keen his senses are. But yeah, this is him. Totally cool. And he actually eats too. He knows where the food's at. And uh, yeah, he's just a cool looking go. He's kind of my favorite fish right now. Just because he's special needs. Look at that. No eyes, guys. No eyes. And look at the little cloud minnows. I got some gold cloud minnows and some white cloud minnows that are in here. They're all doing great. But let's... uh. Take a stroll through Tiki Falls. Got a lot of spider webs out here, man. Anyways, um, you can see all the white cloud and gold cloud minnows. They're actually breeding. I've been watching these guys and it's pretty fascinating to watch these guys chase each other around. You can see male and females. Some gold clouds right there. You can see a bunch of them right there over that rock. And then of course, all of my koi are down here. Now, just so you guys know, I got eight koi, four goldfish, a total of 12 fish, and then including the 25 white and gold cloud minnows. I believe I have 15 white cloud minnows and 10 gold cloud minnows. So that's what we have here in Tiki Falls. This is kind of a uh, channel favorite. Tiki Falls from afar. Okay, Ohana, now that I introduce you to Tiki Falls, let me tell you guys a little story about Tiki Falls. I managed to have my first spawn ever in Tiki Falls. I had three female fish that I knew of. One was a black oranda, which was a female. One was a Shubunkin goldfish that was a female. And one was an all black koi female. The reason why I know this is because all the males would chase the females around. So I knew who was a female and who wasn't. Well, I was sitting out here one day and we managed to have some baby fry inside Tiki Falls. I let them be, but then there was a lot of you guys, my Ohana, that was saying, you gotta net them, you gotta put them in a tank, grow them out, they'll eat them. My fish usually don't eat other little fish because I've always had white cloud minnows in Tiki Falls. So I really wasn't worried about the fish eating them. Then I thought to myself, maybe I should net them and try to grow them out. So what I did was I actually netted them I actually set up a 30 gallon aquarium and I have them here and I want to show you guys what they look like now, right? So let's go check them out. Now here is their setup outside, right? The 30 gallon tank. I have this towel kind of draped over it just because the sun hits it around noonish. And you know, I'm just trying to eliminate as much algae as I can. They're doing great in here though. Look at, there's the uh, yellow, there is kind of like the brown, I guess a standard. God, the focus is out of, out of whack here. It's trying to focus on that towel in the background, but. And uh, I gotta show you this dude here, man. So this is one of my favorites, but this dude here, look at him. 
What a beast. He's a little chunker. Look at him. I think this dude is an actual goldfish, though. He looks very goldfishy, but I could be wrong. You guys tell me down in the comments. Is that a goldfish or is that a koi? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards a Shubunkin goldfish, but he's just so chunky. He's really chunky. And then this is the other one. That's the fourth one there. But yeah, this is the Fab Four. And this aquarium is powered or filtered by a CJ Shark ADV 800. And it's doing a fabulous job. Maybe I'll do a video on how easy it is to service one of these internal filters. So easy, so convenient. But uh, yeah, look at these babies. Look at them. They're doing great. I actually feed them like two, three times a day trying to get the actually technically this dude is big enough to probably throw in tiki falls but i actually want to get them really big since i got them caught they are the first ever fry of tiki falls and so i believe they just i feel they deserve a little bit more attention sorry look at this guy he's pretty i think he may be a koi it looks like the kois are like a lot more slimmer and slender built i don't know these three are all the same and then you got this Goliath right here. Look at him. But he's so pretty. My goldfish and koi experts, tell me what you think. Koi or goldfish? Now, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I'm going to put a card up above. Click that card. That card is going to send you to a video on how I net these small little fry in Tiki Falls. Really cool video. You guys are going to love it. That way you guys can feel like you guys were here from the beginning. And then you can see how little they were and what they look like now. Okay, so now I'm super excited for this video because it is a balling on a budget video. For all you guys out there that are balling on a budget, this video is for you. We're actually gonna put, let me show you. We are actually gonna put these sunshade sails up. Now, as you can see, my Tiki Falls is getting a little bit of algae. You can see all the green in there, right? Ooh, look at, there's the koi. They're super skittish, but ooh, look at them coming out a little bit. There's the newest one there, which I'm calling Foggy. This isn't real. Which is Daredevil's sidekick. So those of you guys that commented Foggy, I got a lot of votes for that. So I appreciate it. And that's his name. The one with the orange head and the Jinrin black with white speckles on it. Right there, it's going back underneath its little cave. Yeah, that's foggy, just so you guys know. Thank you guys, my Ohana, for the uh, suggestions on names. But anyways, you can see all the grain. That's algae due to good old Mother Nature sunlight. Yep, sun's over there. Anyways, what I usually do every year, every season during the summer, is put up my sunshade cells. Now, this one's gonna be a little bit different because if you can see, I have my carabiner clip on there from last season. And I have another carabiner clip on the fence there, okay? This is where I anchor one side of the sunshade cell. Now, this sunshade shell is 16 feet by 16 feet. It's a perfect square, okay? Normally, I have it hitched there, and I run my paracord to a tree that I had there that was up there. I had a big tree. I cut it down. This is it kind of growing back, just a bunch of little branches. Uh, from the stump that's there. I'm gonna show you guys a cheap, cheap way how to build a post. Because I need to put a post here so we can actually hook the other side of the sunshade cell to. So you don't wanna miss this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to build this post and guess what? It's gonna cost about $16 at the most to build the post. You see that? You see how I did that little freestyle rap for you guys again? Coming up, add up my views to sum it up. I was just on Sports Center. Dun -dun -dun. You guys didn't know I was a rapper, right? $16 at the most to build a post. Super easy, doesn't involve any concrete, anything like that. So now let's head over to one of my homes away from homes, Home Depot. I'll see you guys in a second. Boom, just like that, we are here at home. Depot, let's go. All right, so the first item we're gonna get is a one and a half inch in diameter by 10 foot long PVC pipe. We'll probably cut it down to about eight foot, but yeah, this is what we're going to use. 
All right, so now we need some machine screws. We only need one with a bolt, but they only have this pack of four, so that'll work. It's only like, I don't know, two bucks or so. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy, throw that in there, and now we're in the hooks and eyes area, and we just need one. Here it is right here. We need a long one too. This is what, four inches? Oh yeah, a quarter inch. Yeah, that'll work. It with a bolt. Make sure you have a bolt on it, all right, guys? That's super important, all right? An eye with a bolt, all right? Mm. All right, now we're in the rebar section over by the concrete, and there's a bunch of different stakes. And we're gonna grab this stake down here, and I'm gonna show you the reason why. This thing is like three bucks and some change, you know? Probably four dollars with tax. Now, the reason why we're gonna use this stake, it's about, I'm gonna say two and a half feet long, but it has these holes. See, these holes are super important. Um, this is gonna actually hold our sunshade sail pole down, and we wanna make sure, I know it fits, but I wanna show you guys, we're gonna make sure that bolt fits inside the holes. And uh, yeah, that's it, let's get this and head on back home. Let's go. All right, we are home. I saved you guys all the time and the trouble. I went ahead and cut this bad boy down to size. It's about 91 inches, seven feet, seven inches long. Uh, it was 10 foot when I bought it, and I'm gonna show you what I did with the eye bolts. Check it out. So I basically just drilled a hole and screwed this eye bolt with the bolt on the back side. All right, so you got the eye bolt with the bolt screwed in, and uh, it's not too tight. You don't wanna do it too tight because you run the risk of cracking the PVC pipe. And I actually drilled the hole about an inch, inch and a half down from the top. And then down here at the bottom, let me show you guys what I did. Put this up here. And there's the machine bolt right there. Or I should say the machine screw with the bolt. That's at the bottom. I just screwed it in there. It's going to come out because we got to drive our stake in the ground. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a post for your sunshade sail. All right, let's go ahead and do this. It's going to be super simple and super fast. And like I said, super cheap. All right, my Ohana. So this is where we're actually going to put the post. We're going to put it right about here. This would be a good spot, right about here. Um, if you can see way over there on the fence line, I'll zoom in, the carabiner clip, that's exactly where it is. Kind of measured it out, but I don't really have to have it perfect just because I have the jam cams um, that I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna use. Super simple to use, but uh, uh, this is where we're gonna put the spot, right here. Oh, right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the rocks I'm gonna go get the uh, sledgehammer and the stake and uh, show you how we're gonna actually put this in the ground. Super simple. So we're just gonna take our stake and find the dirt. So we're gonna get through all this, you know, top rock. And um, I wanna make sure some of these holes right here are gonna be facing this way. Cause that's the way that the PVC pipe is angled so I'm gonna hammer this down probably to about halfway so I'm gonna probably use this top hole right here so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it and we are going to hammer down get it down there you know mm. all right I think that's pretty good yeah that's good we're gonna use this hole right here I think that'll be perfect all right, now that we got that cleared, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the PVC pipe. And we're gonna run the screw through here. And this is what's gonna hold down the PVC pipe. So we're not using any cement, no foam, none of that. Super simple. All you're using is this stake and this is gonna keep the uh, PVC pipe from moving, lifting up or shifting right here. This is your uh, bread and butter right here. So you can see this thing is sturdy, it's in the ground. And uh, let's go ahead and get the PVC pipe. The tricky part is going to be putting this down, the stake, but trying to find the bolt and the hole. So, you know, we're gonna slip it down here like so. And then we gotta line it up and find that hole right there. 
Now that we got the bolt going all the way through, all we're gonna do is thread on, I'm sorry, the screw, we're gonna thread on the bolt now, just by hand. We're just gonna hand tighten it. Just like that, it is done. We got the bolt going through, we got the nut, and uh, yeah, we didn't over tighten it, all right? And then I actually, um, you know, put the rocks back down underneath. That way it can kind of give it a little stabilizer too as well. So uh, all the weight's not coming down on this bolt here. So yeah, all right, now that we got this pole established here, now we can go ahead and attach our sunshade cell. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that done. All right, step by step, I'm gonna take this end here and I'm gonna attach it to that carabiner clip right there. And then I'm gonna take this end right here and attach it to that carabiner clip right there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and here we go. We got this side down over there clipped in. We got this side here clipped in. And we got this side clipped in up here. And this up here is what I was talking about with the jam cam, okay? We'll get into a little bit more detail on the jam cam. It's up there. That little black clip. Looks like a clip, carabiner clip. I'm gonna show you exactly in detail how it works. Super easy to use and super cheap. So here's the uh, important spot that's going up to our post. Remember that post that we made? So let me show you guys a little bit in detail on this carabiner clip that we have to adjust. As you can see, the slack, this carabiner clip, or I should say that jam cam is gonna be able to allow us very easily to pull the tension on this. And it's gonna make it look flat like that. So let me show you how this works. Super cool, easy to use. I think I bought two of them for like $15, but this is all it is. All right, this is how we use the jam cam. Super simple. You're just gonna loop your paracord through the jam cam, pull it through, and that's how you pull your tension. And this cord gets stuck underneath this little mechanism here that holds it and locks it into place. And then you just keep pulling it and it actually keeps tightening it up. So it's super simple to use. It's a great investment. They have all different sizes. This one here, I think it was like $15 for two. And uh, this is what we're gonna use. They work excellent um, for uh, sunshade, sunshade sales. So invest in a couple of these bad boys and you'll be happy. Boom, there we go, guys. Just like that, we have instant shade from the sunshade sale. Look at that. This is definitely gonna eliminate algae growth but not only that though, well you can see a little bit of sunlight gets right in there, but it's okay, majority of this pond is covered. It is about one o'clock and I wanted to put this up during the time that the sun was right above us. That way you guys get a better idea of how this 16 foot by 16 foot is uh, covering the pond. So uh, this looks great. I'm super, super pleased. Again, another season, we got this entire pond covered. But not only that though, this will protect the fish from birds of prey. So we don't have to worry about that. I know a lot of you guys down in the comments are always asking, what about cranes? You have problems with cranes? I don't, I usually keep this covered during the summer. Once the summer is done, I uh, go ahead and put it away during the winter and everybody kind of goes into a deep hibernation as far as the uh, koi and goldfish go. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna show you guys an angle from this side and then our post. For the money, I'm a savage. You can't forget our post, guys. Yeah. I'm like I had it. Yeah. it was about, like I said, less than $16. You got a post here. If you need four of them, go ahead and get four of them. You know, that's what, 16 times four. Super easy to put together. There you go. We got the jam cam there clip, the uh, eye screw with the bolt at the end, and then at the very, very bottom here, machine screw with the bolt. And that is it. It's so simple to put a post up. A really cool, cheap, balling on a budget DIY, um, do it yourself, yeah, project. 
if you need to put a post up. You know wood nowadays, wood is super expensive. So if I wanted to get like this, you know, four by four to stick in the ground, I could have done it a lot more expensive though. And not only that though, this is only seasonal for me. So I take this down, super simple to take apart and reuse again in the next season. And not only that though, they also have black. You can get black PVC pipe. And uh, so it looks a lot more nicer. I left, I actually got the white one because uh, I got kids and they need to see this white post. I know my boys will run into it if it was black. So yeah, well my Ohana, I am now sitting under the sunshade sail that I just put up. I'm gonna have some beverages. I'm gonna hang out here. It makes it so much nicer to hang out in the backyard, look at the fish, check out Tiki Falls. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Super simple, cheap, easy to put up, and easy to take down if you want to. $16 a post. If you need to put up two, three, four, now you know how to do it. Everything is stable. It's a thick, remember, one and a half inch PVC pipe. All right, that gives you enough girth, enough strength, and uh, enough, enough give too, because it is going to give when it gets windy. So that's what's nice about the PVC pipe. It's just going to give with the wind. So uh, yeah, it's all pluses all across the board. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Turn it on and give this video, please, a big like. I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.